the Logitech MX Master Series has been long touted the best productivity mouse on the market, but it's not the best productivity mouse. That is because Logitech makes a better one. Let's take a look at the build of the MX Master 3S first. It feels solid in the hand and almost its entire body is coated in a thick rubber material. The only exceptions are the metallic accents and the primary mouse buttons. I have the pale gray version and I don't know what I did because I haven't had Cheetos in a couple months, but it's already stained in places I contact the mouse. The mouse clicks are silenced on the S version allowing me to incessantly click away without bothering anyone. The scroll wheel on the MX Master 3 automatically goes into infinite scroll when you flick the mouse wheel hard enough. But when scrolling normally, the steps have a short but noticeable tactile bump. The MX Master also features a secondary scroll wheel. This one is a smooth scroll with a pleasant amount of resistance. The MX Master 3 seems to have a mostly normal amount of buttons, but that's where the gestures of the MX Master 3S come into play. With a button on the wing, you can actually have five gestures, one for clicking the wing button and four when holding down and moving the mouse in a direction. The wing button, however, is a little hard to find and press. I use mine as video functions on the desktop when editing and I have it set to playback and redo, with the side scroll to zoom in and out of the timeline. If you keep having to move to the keyboard repeatedly or have very specific keystrokes or macros for work, you'll be surprised that the MX Master 3S doesn't support macros. You can however create keyboard shortcuts, so no lines of text or sequential shortcuts. But what makes the MX Master 3S a productivity mouse? Well, it has multi-computer flexibility and that ridiculous battery life that lasts 70 days. The MX Master also has the capability to simultaneously connect to multiple computers and control the mouse cursor from one computer to another. Without having to repeatedly disconnect a dongle using Logitech Flow, retaining both your settings and your clipboard, allowing you to copy text from one computer to another, for example. It is helpful if your work environment has you going back and forth between a laptop and a desktop. You can also connect the MX Master 3S, both via Bluetooth and the dongle, making moving between one or the other easy. Also, forgetting the dongle is a non-issue as you can simply connect through Bluetooth. Honestly, Logitech Flow seems like a really niche feature, but a handy productivity feature is the application context awareness with the ability to create custom profiles for each application. And you don't have to go through menus to have it applied. The profile is only applied when the application is open and actively used by the mouse cursor. So you can move between different shortcuts on a per application basis. As I mentioned earlier, I prefer changing the side buttons to something like redo as the back function doesn't really do anything in DaVinci Resolve, but undo and redo don't really apply much when browsing the web. One extra productivity feature is the sensor, which has the ability to track on surfaces that are glossy white and even glass, which can be found in offices with tables that double as a whiteboard. But can it do something like gaming? So if you do want some entertainment. While admittedly it's no lightweight, with the MX Master 3S at 143.5 grams, you're probably thinking it's not for gaming anyway. However, it works just fine for gaming. But there are issues with the MX Master 3S. The mouse exhibited a lot of skipping and jumpy movement, almost as if my screen was running a slideshow, when moving the cursor quickly at least. Opening the Logi Options Plus application, the issue becomes less apparent. So if you use the MX Master for gaming, keep the Logi Options running on the background. Another issue is the MX Master 3S has a polling rate of 125 hertz, with a click latency of around 12 milliseconds, which pales in comparison to the 1000 hertz polling rate of any respectable gaming mouse, and click latency of around 8 milliseconds. I did notice that in comparison to a gaming mouse, that the movement is not as smooth. And while smoothness doesn't have a lot of impact, in productivity, a higher polling rate lends you a responsive feeling product. Also, you're not going to notice a difference if you're upgrading from a regular non-gaming mouse, as it also would have the polling rate of 125 hertz. While the MX Master 3S has an ergonomic shape and a lot of productivity features, Logitech has a mouse that they have just updated with those productivity features except for three. The 70-day battery, Bluetooth connectivity, and Logitech Flow. If none of those are a massive interest to you, get the G502X Lightspeed instead. Not only does it have a ton of buttons to create those shortcuts, you can also create macro combinations. It also has the ability to layer shift the button functions, allowing you to do something like turn the vertical scroll into a horizontal scroll. And yes, it has the infinite scroll wheel as well. And while you wouldn't expect it, it has application awareness on top of that. And if you want a keyboard that's quiet like the MX Master 3S, check out this video here. But for more videos on productive gaming gear, subscribe, like the video, and have a nice one.